At a House Select Committee hearing on China, Congressman Torres questions Jack Clark, co-founder of Anthropic, about the current AI arms race, which he compares to this century's version of the Manhattan Project. Mr. Clark, what do you make of the Manhattan Project framing? Is, is that the right way to think about the AI strategic competition with China, or is that a false analogy? Um, there's an element of this which is a disanalogy because the frontier of AI is, was sort of born by these private sector companies and is built today in the private sector. So we're not starting from the same place as with the Manhattan Project. But where it did get ideas right, which we should carry through, is the prioritization of the core resources for it being in the United States. We need energy here and we need compute here because as this technology becomes more sensitive, we'll want to develop the most powerful systems here under the full U.S. security umbrella. The congressman goes on to ask about the importance of energy in competition with China. Mr. Clark, can we win the AI race without energy? Energy is essential, and without it, we lose this race. So the AI revolution requires an abundance of energy on a scale and at a pace that we've never seen before. You know, China's emerging as the energy superpower of the world. When it comes to new energy capacity, China's adding the equivalent of a whole United States every two years. In 2024, China built 400 plus gigawatts of new capacity compared to only 50 plus gigawatts of new capacity for the United States. When it comes to energy, China's outbuilding the United States by a ratio of eight to one. And yet at a time when the AI revolution has put unprecedented strain on the US energy grid, the present reconciliation bill, to be blunt, would all but repeal the tax credits for clean energy. According to an analysis by Politico, the loss of tax credits would endanger the nearly 800 planned clean energy projects that would generate over 156,000 megawatts of electricity, which is enough to power 27 million homes. These are staggering numbers. Mr. Clark, do you think it's wise for the United States to artificially restrict the supply of energy available to American AI at a time when we are engaged in a high stakes arms race with the Chinese Communist Party? We estimate that we need 50 gigawatts of power by 2027. And that suggests to me, by we I mean the AI industry, that suggests to me that you need to look at all options on the table and look at what it takes to get there. For more congressional news, stay tuned to Congress Clips. And thanks for watching.